despite our impressive assets and a prestigious customer base, our two largest assets, Ultron Systems Integration and NetStar, were not performing optimally. Moreover, our non-core assets, Ultron Document Solutions and Ultron Nexus, faced challenges due to specific events, notably the loss of the GBN contract. Our core operations showed promise in revenue growth, but earnings growth was softer. Adjusting for the sale of the ATM hardware and support business of Alton Managed Solutions, which I will refer to as the ATM business going forward, on a like-for-like -like basis, we achieved revenue growth of 11%. EBITDA and operating profit grew 26 and 32% respectively, while our operating margin improved. Our continuing results adjusted for the sale of the ATM business is what we believe reflects our core operations going forward. On a statutory basis, a heightened emphasis on cash generation led to a 27% increase in cash generated from operations. HEPs from continuing operations increased 19% to 50 cents per share. EPS from continuing operations was flat at 38 cents per share, negatively impacted by the 33 million rand impairment raised against Goodwill held at group in relation to Elton Nexus. As detailed in our training statement, additional provisions and impairments were required in our discontinued operations. For Alton Nexus, this totaled 334 million, and for Alton Document Solutions, 95 million, as well as the 33 million Goodwill impairment referred to above. There have been no further material adverse movements from what was detailed in our trading statement. However, these provisions had a material impact on our group performance. Despite a 3% growth in revenue, EBITDA fell 54% with a group generating an operating loss of 106 million, resulting in a group headline loss per share of 63 cents per share and a group loss per share of 86 cents. Now, these numbers are tough for me to present, as these provisions have to a large extent offset our hard work, which is evidenced by the improved performance of our core operations. Cash generated from operations increased 16%. This improved cash flow generation together with a positive momentum that we are seeing in our continued operations, combined with our strong balance sheet, has allowed us to positively adjust our dividend payout. We have increased our dividend payout from paying out at least 40% to paying out at least 50% of HEPs from continued operations of 50 cents per share. 